An examination of the last federal election has determined there were foreign attempts to sway the 2021 vote, but they didn't work. The new report also urges the federal government to lower the threshold for when to notify the public. Here's CTV's senior political correspondent Glenn McGregor. In the closely fought 2021 election, there were attempts by foreign actors to influence the outcome. But a new report commissioned by the government found they didn't succeed. National security agencies saw attempts at foreign interference, but not enough to have met the threshold of impacting electoral integrity. With the Liberal government facing more calls to convene a public inquiry into election interference, the report offers some cover. The good news is the measures we put in place, we believe, and it was confirmed by the report today, uh, resulted in no foreign interference or even other electoral interference such, a, such that the result of the vote would be compromised. Former senior public servant Morris Rosenberg's report concluded there was no need for the panel of officials that monitored the election to notify the public. But he wrote, CSIS expressed concerns that China notably tried to target elected officials to promote their national interests and encouraged individuals to act as proxies on their behalf. Rosenberg cited as an example an editorial in the Global Times considered a mouthpiece for Beijing that warned the Conservatives, if elected, would jeopardize diplomatic relations. Is the U.S. about to get another loyal dog, the newspaper asked. Chinese-backed media in Canada were also critical of a Conservative MP in B.C., wrongly claiming he wanted anyone with ties to China to register as a foreign agent. Kenny Chu lost his bid for re-election. We know that in, in diaspora communities across the country, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter whether it's Chinese, uh, Russians or Iranians, uh, these communities are exposed and potentially subject to foreign interference. Not mentioned in the report, recent allegations that the Chinese consulate in Toronto helped Liberal Han Dong win the nomination nomination in a party stronghold. Rosenberg also flagged domestic interference, a surge in threats against party leaders during the campaign, driven by opposition to COVID-19 restrictions and what he called extremist, racist and anti-government views that proliferated online. But the Conservatives said Rosenberg's report is incredible because he once worked for the non-profit Trudeau Foundation. The Prime Minister can clear all this up right now by telling Canadians what he was briefed on by Canada's security and intelligence agencies. Rosenberg provided a long list of recommendations, most focused on communications, saying the public should be provided more information about foreign interference, both during and between elections. Omar. All right, Glenn.